Welcome to DX Sudoku training video number 27. In this video, the advanced puzzle solving technique called Skyscraper will be discussed. Compared to the other advanced puzzle solving techniques, Skyscraper is one of the easier advanced techniques to learn. Let's get started. Consider the following Sudoku in progress. When looking for a skyscraper, we iterate through each of the possible candidates. And with each possible candidate, we will iterate through all the rows and then all the columns. We are looking for two halves of an X-wing, where one set of corners line up and the other set of corners do not line up. Each corner has to be in its own block. We start by highlighting all the possible one candidates. We then begin by scanning the rows looking for the first half of an X-Wing, that is, a row having exactly two possible candidates. The two possible candidates must also be in different blocks to be part of a skyscraper pattern. We have found the first half of an X-Wing in row 2 of our puzzle, which is now highlighted. We then look for the second half of the X-Wing further down the puzzle, where a set of corners line up and another set of corners do not line up. What we find is another set of corners on row 7. These corners, however, all line up making a valid X-Wing pattern and not a skyscraper pattern. No other rows for the possible one candidate meet our criteria. Next, we begin looking at the columns for the possible one candidate. When we get to column 2, we find the first half of an X-Wing. We then move further to the right looking for the other half. We find the other half in column 9. However, just like before, all the corners line up, forming an X-Wing pattern and not a skyscraper pattern. After going through the remaining columns for the possible one candidate, we do not find any possible skyscraper patterns. Next, we look at the possible two candidates. Nothing for the possible two candidates fits our criteria. All we have is one valid X-Wing pattern. So we look at the possible three candidates next. Every row and column has three or more cells having a possible three candidate. Except column eight, which does form the first half of an X-Wing, but there's no match to form a skyscraper. So we next move to the possible four candidates. Row four forms the first half of an X-Wing, but there's no match to complete a skyscraper. Column five also forms the first half of an X-Wing, but again, there's no match to complete a skyscraper pattern. Next are the possible five candidates. All that is remaining is an X-Wing for the four remaining possible five candidates. We move on to the possible six candidates. Row one and seven form the first half of an X-Wing, but we have no match. Columns three and nine form the first half of an X-Wing, and again, we have no match. So there are no skyscraper patterns with the possible six candidates. We ignore the possible seven candidates because all the sevens in the puzzle have been set. We turn our attention to the possible eight candidates. We find row 3 and row 5 form the first halves of an X-Wing. One set of corners line up between rows 3 and 5, but the other two corners do not line up. It, this is exactly what we are looking for as a possible skyscraper pattern. Next we identify the kill zone and target candidates for removal. The kill zone is located with the two corners that do not line up. The kill zone is defined by the cells that share the same house together with the two corners that do not line up. As you can see, we have highlighted the possible eight candidates to be removed with a darker shade of red since they occur inside the kill zone.
Now we are going to confirm the logic of our skyscraper pattern we found in our puzzle. Notice the house making up row 3 has exactly two possible cell locations for a possible 8 value. We are going to show our logic for what will happen when having an 8 in either location. What we will show is having an 8 in either location results in the possible 8s in our kill zone as being non-possible candidates. We begin by assuming cell 3, 3 has an 8 as a value. If we follow our logic, then the cell in 3, 8 cannot be an 8. Since 3, 8 is not an 8, there must be at least one 8 in column 8. Therefore, there must be an 8 in cell 5, 8 as shown. And having an 8 in cell 5, 8 means the cell in 5, 2 cannot be an 8 as shown. Since we have an 8 in cell 3, 3, the two possible targets highlighted in dark red cannot be 8. Next, let's assume there's an 8 in cell 3, 8 instead of 3, 3 as shown. This means there cannot be an 8 in cell 3, 3. If we follow the logic, this means there cannot be an 8 in cell 5, 8 as shown. And then this implies that there must be an 8 in cell 5, 2 as shown, since there must be at least one 8 in the house making up row 5. Notice again, because there's an 8 in cell 5, 2, our two possible targets highlighted in dark red cannot be 8. Both possibilities result in our targets not being a possible 8. We have confirmed our skyscraper logic is valid. So now we can remove the non-possible 8 candidates from the puzzle as shown. This may seem like a lot of work to eliminate one or two possible candidates. The thing is, every time a possible candidate is removed, it could be a crucial step in solving the whole puzzle. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. Once again, we begin the process of looking for skyscrapers by iterating over each of the possible candidates. We start with the possible 1 candidates. As you can see, there are no X-Wing halves that line up properly, creating a skyscraper pattern. We skip the 2s because all the 2s have been filled out in the puzzle. We are now showing the possible 3 candidates. As you can see, there are no skyscraper patterns here, just a lonely X-Wing. Next, we look at the possible four candidates. This time, we do find a skyscraper pattern with rows 4 and 9. Notice the three corners of the skyscraper pattern have been highlighted with a black outline. The cell in 4, 1 can be called the cornerstone of the skyscraper since it is in alignment with the two other corners. If we think of the four blocks making up a skyscraper as a box, this cornerstone square can occur in four possible positions. In this puzzle, the cornerstone cell is in the upper left. In the previous example, it was in the lower right. Be aware it can occur in the upper right and lower left as well. We've highlighted the kill zone in red, and we've highlighted the possible candidate to be removed in dark red. We remove the non-possible candidate from the puzzle. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress.
Just as before, we iterate through each of the possible candidates. We do not find anything interesting until we get to the possible four candidates. We find the skyscraper pattern in columns 3 and 9 as shown. The kill zone and target candidates to be removed are highlighted in red. What is interesting with this puzzle is at this exact moment in time, there is a second skyscraper pattern using two of the same cells. Here is the second skyscraper. The second skyscraper is in column 1 and column 9. The kill zone and target candidates to be removed are highlighted in red. Each skyscraper has its own path to solving the puzzle. It's probably better to choose the second skyscraper over the first, since it results in more non-possible candidates in being removed from the puzzle. We remove the non-possible candidates using the second skyscraper as shown. Before we begin testing, if you have gotten value from watching this video, please reward us with a donation. To make a donation, click on the DxSudoku channel link below and then click on Make a Donation to support DxSudoku. Your generous donation is greatly appreciated. Time to test what you have learned. Consider this Sudoku in progress. Pause the video, find the skyscraper in the puzzle with the highlighted candidate, then identify the kill zone and candidates to be removed. Here is the solution. Consider the following Sudoku in progress. Pause the video then find the skyscraper in the puzzle with the highlighted candidate. Once you find the skyscraper, then identify the kill zone and possible candidates to be removed. Here is the solution. Consider the following Sudoku in progress. Pause the video then find the skyscraper in the puzzle with the highlighted candidate. Once you find the skyscraper, then identify the kill zone and possible candidates to be removed. Here is the solution. Consider the following Sudoku in progress. Pause the video then find the skyscraper in the puzzle with the highlighted candidate. Once you find the skyscraper, then identify the kill zone and possible candidates to be removed. Here is the solution. Consider the following Sudoku in progress. Pause the video then find the skyscraper in the puzzle with the highlighted candidate. Once you find the skyscraper, then identify the kill zone and possible candidates to be removed. Here is the solution. This completes DxSudoku training video number 27. Thank you for watching.